So in this video, we're just going to walk through the steps of setting up just the ratings um, for a single level AHP model. Subsequent videos are going to show how we check for consistency and um, then how we perform the final calculation to see what we prefer. So here in our um, little practice example, we have three different things we're choosing from the iPad Mini, the iPad Air, and the iPad Pro 9.7 inch. And we're going to consider three different criteria, the price, the screen size, and whether or not the device does split, sp split screen multitasking. Um, so whenever we do this, we have um, a preference level um, that we assign a numeric value to. We have equally preferred, equally to moderately preferred, all the way up to extremely preferred. So we're going to do this for each of the criteria of the criteria for each of the pairwise comparisons of the three items we're comparing. And then we're also going to do it for the criteria themselves, comparing each other pairwise. Um, so let's just start with price. So comparison of price, and we're going to use uh, iPad mini, and we're just going to use the um, destination formatting here. And we'll copy this over here, and we'll do a paste special, do a transpose, so that we have our nice little pairwise comparison. Now, in any decision we're going to make, when we compare two items that are the same thing, we're always going to equally prefer them. So um, the iPad mini compared to the iPad mini is just one, and we can do the same thing all the way down. I am just going to change these to fractions so they look a little nicer here. So we'll just change those. So then we want to say, okay, I prefer giving the iPad mini to the, comparing the iPad Air on price. So we're saying $499 to $499. Well, that's equally preferred. It's the same price. So we're just going to put a one there. Now in any pairwise comparison, the opposite comparison, um, so the iPad Air to the iPad Mini, it will just be the reciprocal of that. Because if, let's say I actually preferred the iPad Air, I would say I gave it a rating of very strongly preferred, which means I prefer the iPad Air seven times uh, on the con comparison of price, I prefer the price seven times greater than the price of the iPad mini. The opposite would just therefore be that I prefer the iPad Air one-seventh as much as the iPad mini. So it would just be one-seventh. But here, here, let's go back to the one and the one since they're equal equally preferred, and we'll go over again to the iPad mini, price of $4.99, to the iPad Pro, uh, price of $6.99. Well, I prefer that price, let's just say I moderately to strongly prefer that. So that's a four, and therefore this is a one over four, because if I prefer, again, if I prefer the iPad Pro four times as much, uh, sorry, the the price of the iPad Mini four times as much as I prefer the price of the iPad Pro, it follows that I prefer the iPad Pro one-fourth as much as the iPad Mini on the con comparison of price. So then we'll just go ahead and fill out these others. So the iPad Air to the iPad Pro 9.7. Now these are the same prices, so it should follow therefore that our comparison, our ratings are going to be the same. Um, so a four here and a one fourth here. Otherwise, we wouldn't be being consistent. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about consistency in the next video. So 
I'm just going to leave this blank for now. That will be useful when we actually go to calculate the other values. Let's, to perform the final comparison, let's go ahead and set up the other items. So we have comparison of price up here, comparison of screen size, comparison of multi, uh, sorry, split screen multitasking. and comparison of the criteria. And let's go ahead and get these criteria and we'll do, go ahead and paste those, but we want to keep the source formatting. Sorry, not the source formatting, let's undo that. Um, and repaste, we want to keep match the destination formatting. There we go. And we'll just and paste special and transpose and we just want to paste the values so we're going to compare price to screen size and multi split screen multitasking so I'm just going to clear out the values in here we can leave the ones because as we talked about before the ones are just saying hey this is the same thing I can't do anything except equally prefer the same thing to the same thing otherwise it just wouldn't make sense it wouldn't make sense if I said that I preferred um, oranges to oranges more more than I preferred oranges or if I said that I preferred apples more than I preferred apples so we equally prefer the same things anyway I'll uh, fill these up here in um, off the video, but let's just go ahead and enter these comparisons on price on uh, criteria. So, if I say I prefer price to screen size, do I prefer price to screen size? Um, screen size actually matters more to me, so I am going to say that um, if I do screen size to price. I pr um, moderately prefer the screen size to the price. And that means that this is one third up here. Again, with our property of if I prefer the screen size three times more than the price, then I must prefer the price one third as much as the screen size. Um, now, we're going to want to make sure that we can just update one value in the cells because the, the, we don't want to have to update two values every time we decide to make a change so we're just going to enter some formulas in here just to enforce that property um, so if we just say equals and the value that's diagonal from it uh, sorry one the reciprocal one divided by the value that's diagonal from it and one divided by the, da, the value that's diagonal from it, and one divided by the value that is diagonal from it. So we can just, on these ones, we'll just copy and paste the formulas, and those say divide by zero. Can't do that. Well, that's because we just haven't entered the values yet. But I'll just go ahead and paste these formulas in here so we can not have to worry. And I'll go ahead and enter the rest of these values off this video.